and there are more questions. What was it? Bats, minks, frozen meat, an accidental lab leak. 18 months into the pandemic, we still don't have the answers. The WHO promised to find us an answer, but it has only added to the confusion. On the 19th of May 2020, the global health body launched an investigation, a probe to trace the origins of this virus. In the months that followed, the WHO presented many hypotheses, supported them with evidence, but then went on to counter each one of them. It's been a never-ending cycle of claims and counterclaims. And now the cycle has entered another phase. As I speak, the global health body is meeting once again. Health ministers from at least 194 states are attending the WHO's annual World Health Assembly. This meeting is expected to focus on pandemic reforms. But what about the origins of the pandemic? Can you reform without fixing accountability? Can you fix a problem without tracking its source? What did the WHO say today and what has it done in the last 18 months? Here's a report. And the evidence we have from the sequencing uh, and from all that we have been advised is the, 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 the virus itself is of natural origin. I thank member states for adapting the resolution which calls for an independent and comprehensive evaluation of the international response, including but not limited to WHO's performance. WHO is committed to do everything it can based on science and solutions to find the origin. Over the past 24 hours, members of the international scientific team on COVID-19 virus origins began traveling from their home countries to China. But I have been in contact with senior Chinese officials and I have once again made, made it clear that the mission is a priority for WHO and the international team. I wish to confirm that all hypotheses remain open and require further analysis and studies. We have also said that this mission would not find all the answers, but it has added important information that takes us closer to understanding the origins of the virus. For now, um, all hypotheses uh, will be on the table and will need uh, further study. Thank you. Hypotheses and promises. That's all the WHO has to offer, 12 months after it launched a probe into the origins of this virus. The story begins in May 2020, when WHO member states agreed to investigate where this virus came from. The motion was co-sponsored by 137 countries. The idea was to conduct an independent investigation, yet the WHO dealt on China's terms. Throughout 2020, the health body couldn't even enter China. Today, we learned that Chinese officials have not yet finalized the necessary permissions for the team's arrival in China. It was only in January 2021 that a team of 10 researchers with expertise in virology traveled to Wuhan. They visited hospitals that treated some of the first patients, the infamous seafood market where the virus was first detected and the center of disease control in Wuhan. Cameras followed these investigators everywhere they went. The evidence they relied on was given by Chinese officials. Beijing turned the entire WHO probe into a charade. The WHO complied and the result was this. The findings suggest that the laboratory uh, incident um, hypothesis is uh, extremely unlikely and to explain the introduction of the virus into the human population. We did not uh, find evidence of large outbreaks of, that could be related to uh, cases of COVID-19 prior to December 19 in Wuhan or elsewhere. A few weeks later, the WHO published a written report of these findings. 
they failed to answer all questions. Why did the virus jump directly from an animal to human? The WHO said it was possible. Did the virus jump from one animal to another and then to humans? The WHO said it was possible. Did the virus spread from cold food supplies? Again, the WHO said it was possible. The health body left every hypothesis open. Only the lab leak theory was declared extremely unlikely. Now, findings shared by the US intelligence community have given a new life to this theory. Their reports claims that researchers at China's Wuhan Institute of Virology fell sick as early as November 2019. This disclosure comes amidst the ongoing World Health Assembly. But world leaders are not discussing the origins this year. They're busy discussing reforms. We must give WHO the opportunity, through rapid reaction missions, to be present on the ground as soon as the first signs of an epidemic appear. Fair and equitable distribution of vaccines. The ongoing vaccine crisis is a scandalous inequity that's perpetuating the pandemic. And ideas to end the pandemic. I urge you to take the bold decisions necessary to end this pandemic and build safe, healthy communities and societies for the future. The question of where the virus came from has been brushed aside. Bureau Report, we own. World is one. We on is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.